Hello students, <coughs> uh, hope you all are uh, good at home. I am here with you my dear children with a new lesson from the grammar of class 6. So you have a grammar you know you have already uh, I think taken from the office this book and we have completed lesson 1 and 2 sentences and now, now we have uh, we will start this chapter 3 the articles so what are articles here you see look at the board my dear children articles are words that are used before nouns and help us to understand whether we are referring to a noun specifically or generally so articles are those words Articles are those words that we used before a noun and it helps, you know, it helps us to understand whether that noun is uh, referring to what, whether we are referring to specifically or generally. So that it helps us to understand. So it is used before a noun and help us to understand whether uh, we are referring to a uh, referring to a specifically or generally that is what articles are now there are three articles we have there are three articles and these are called a and the a and the so indefinite articles a and an and definite article the indefinite on the two a n and definite article the today my dear students we will uh, learn <coughs> here about the indefinite article about the indefinite article a n n this a the use of a a n n we use this before a um, singular noun before a singular noun and we use a before words that begin with a consonant or a consonant sound we use a we use a before words that begin with a consonant or a consonant sound so whenever we get a word which begin with a consonant or a consonant sound it begin with a consonant sound then what happened my dear uh, students uh, we use a we use a and one more point is here you can see we use n before words that begin with a vowel we use n before words that begin with vowel or vowel sound vowel or vowel sound again here you see when you get a word uh, which start with a vowel vowel means you know my dear students a e i o u a e i o u a e i o u they are called the vowels they are called the vowels in English alphabet there are 6 26 letters right there are 26 letters and 5 are vowels and 21 letters 21 letters are consonant 21 letters are consonant don't forget this very important 5 are vowels and 21 are consonant and whenever we get a word which start with a a consonant or a consonant sound then we use a and whenever we get a word start with a vowel or a vowel sound then we use a n n we use n some of the examples are here my dear students you can see uh, what we can write here p so i told you that Whenever a word starts with a consonant or a consonant sound, then we use A. So, 
what is this word? Uh, what, sorry, what is this letter? And what sound it is coming? So, R. This letter is P. And the pronunciation of this word is far. 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 Means what? Consonant sound. Consonant sound. So, what we will write? I told you that whenever we get a word, it starts with a consonant or a consonant sound, then we use A. So, without any question, just put it here A. That is in indefinite articles. Again, cat. What we can use here? Cat. 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 Right? Cat. Cat. What sound? Again, go. Consonant sound. Yes or not? Again, consonant sound is there. Consonant sound. Consonant sound. So when, whenever consonant sound, what we write? A. We write A. Apple. A. Uh. What sound is coming? A. Uh. Apple. Yes. Apple. Apple. Apple means? What sound? Or you can see this letter also. A. A. It is vowel. And sound also, it is coming. Vowel sound. Then, vowel letter or vowel sound if you get. Then, N. Vowel, N. Consonant, A. Elephant. 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 Eli. Elephant. No? Eli. Eli. You can say like this. Eli. 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 So, A. Here also, vowel. A. A, E, I, O, U. These are vowels. So, if it is coming A, then obviously it is vowel. So, whenever it's vowels, then N. Again, another example. Dog. 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 So, dog. This is consonant sound. A. Temple. T. T. Temple. Again, consonant. Consonant means A. O. 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 Sound is O is vowel. A E I O U. Vowel. O. So, N. Ant. A. Uh, this also A. Uh, A. Uh. Ant means again vowel. 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 So, you have seen, my dear students, whenever there is a uh, word, it starts with a consonant or uh, its sound is consonant, then we use A. And whenever a word starts with a uh, vowel uh, and the sound of its uh, word is what? Vowel, then we use N. This is what? Uh, today's class, in the next class we will see some of the words are there my dear students that uh, the words it begin with a consonant letter but it produce a vowel sound. In that case what we do? Again some are there uh, which begin with a vowel, the word begin with a vowel but it gives a consonant sound. So in that case what we use? A or N. This we will discuss, we will see in the next class. So hope you have understood this and I want that you should just go through you know, uh, in page number 27 your article this lesson is uh, what you can do my dear student you can your homework you know you can write you can write this topic and you can write in your copy what are articles and what? How many types of articles are there? This indefinite, definite, this all. This point you know you can write in your copy and just go through it once. So thank you very much. Take care and I will give you a time you can post a video now and just write down what is written on the board, okay? Thank you very much.